Welcome to that episode of Vet Talk. This is your boy, Brother Vince. And today, man, I just want to read 2 Timothy 3, starting with the first verse. But it said, Mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, Brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceit, lovers of pleasure, rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying his power, have nothing to do with them. They are the kind that worm their way into the house, homes and gain control over weak-willed women who are loaded down with sin and swayed by all kind of evil desires, always learning, but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. This is the time we are living in, man. And most of these women that they're talking about, these these females who call themselves pastors, got these men out there pushing them, telling them that God called them to be an apostle, a bishop. <laughs> this this the issue, man. People being disobedient to their parents, children not listening to, you know, not respecting their parents, honoring their mother and their father so that their days will be long upon earth, like God says. So now they're walking in total disobedience, which makes them a bad church member because now they think that they could talk to the pastor that way. Or they may find, you know, themselves in a situation where they're unforgiving. Pastor make a mistake because he's human. Now they want to charge him up or they want to charge another member up versus what the Bible say, you which is spiritual. If you find your brother in sin, restore such a one. Or, you know what I'm saying? If you got an issue with that brother, it talks about going to him and him and alone. And you know what I'm saying? Making that right. But because people are lovers of themselves, love of money, love of pleasure more than a love of God. Now that's why we got people who call themselves Christians, but they up in the club. Oh, we got Christians who dress lascivious, which is almost basically lewd, filthy looking. Or, you know, we got these Christians who believe they can cuss, you know, drink, party, go to, you know what I'm saying, listen to, you know, non-gospel music, even though some gospel music may be trash like Kurt Franklin stuff and a lot of those other people who out there, you know, mixing and mingling with the world. But we living in perilous times, man. We in the last days. And I'm saying all this to you because I want you to get your life right with Christ. Don't, don't, don't let the hourglass run out before you get it right. Vet talk out.